February's numbers are in and we are so excited about this video because it gives you guys the power to predict prices based on interest rates. We saw them go up, we saw them go down, we saw them go back up again. And we're gonna get into what those interest rates did to prices for the last six, seven months. Yeah. So let's take a look, you guys. So um, on this graph, we're using Salt Lake County numbers here in Utah. I imagine these can be pretty accurate across the nation. Obviously, you would need to get similar numbers like this to try to predict kind of where things are going to be at. But let me give you kind of just some general principles. And I think when you look at this data, it's going to make a lot of sense to help you guys decide because it's no secret that when interest rates are up, you have more negotiation power with the sellers if you're a buyer. Yeah. The downside is, of course, is your payment also goes up. On the flip side, we've met and seen rates go down to the high fives, middle fives, and we've now have the data on what that does to home prices. Yeah. And so let's start with the high. Yeah. Okay, so if you go back to October of 2022, that's when we saw interest rates go into the sevens. Now, if you look at this graph right here, we saw from October 2022 with an average sale price of 521,400 and something go all the way down to 507,000. I mean, that's a pretty big drop and that is because interest rates went up into the sevens. Makes perfect sense. Uh, you see that also reflected in December's number, how the average price also went down. Yeah. For a second reference, you guys can look at these price per square foot numbers as well, seeing those go way down. Now, what was interesting was December hit and interest rates got back down and they lowered even more in January. Mm -hmm. And so we can kind of now see what that effect it had here in Utah on our market. And you can see you guys, look at this. From December, the average price 485 went up to 495. Now, I wouldn't necessarily prices went went up because if you look at the price per square foot, they still went down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But in February, and remember, people that go under contract in January, they're closing the home in February. And that's the number that we're showing you. Yeah. And so there's a lag there. Yeah, there, yeah. There, there's kind of that 30-day lag. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the price per square foot went up by $2 in February. So this gives us some really, really, really great data to help understand what is going on. So it's clear to me yeah. that when home prices and interest rates are in the high fives, mm -hmm. you're going to see leveling off in home prices. Yeah. You can use this to your advantage. A lot of agents out there will not know these numbers. They will not know this data. And so if you get a good agent to represent you, you can negotiate and play hardball still and take advantage of when rates do lower. Yes. And on the flip side, now that we're seeing rates go back up into the high sixes, yes. they're going to hit the sevens by probably the time you're watching this video, if they haven't already. Yes. And I know that stinks in your mortgage payment, but you can see from October, November that your negotiation power yes. is super, super, super strong yes. to help get these sellers down in prices for you as the buyer. Absolutely. So for instance, if a home's on the market for 500,000, it gives you the power to negotiate that. You might be able to get that home for 490. It just due to this information with interest rates going up, that is going to make that price depreciate most likely in the future if it stayed on the market. The same fear that you as a buyer out there feels because interest rates are going up, the sellers on the market and their realtors are also feeling that same fear. And so you can use that to your advantage. I'm gonna share with you guys one technique that is really, really gonna help you. You're probably gonna to have to teach your realtor this because not very many people know about it, but it's what I like to call the pull away technique. And that is where you show interest in the property by potentially writing an offer, you make it in a lower offer, they counter back. And then what you do is you don't respond. You actually just tell the agent like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think we really want to do this. Then you give it two, three days and guess what's going to happen. They're going to reach back out to you and be like, so, Hey, yeah. What, what can we do to make this work? Is there, is, is there something that, you know, maybe your buyer, what, what if we came down to that price? It's a very powerful technique. When fear happens to these sellers, 
Use it to your advantage to negotiate a better price. Definitely. Thanks, you guys.